But there's uh, uh, more, more interesting stuff happening at this interface. If I send light at the interface of two materials, it actually splits depending on the wavelengths. So if I send red, green, and blue light here, they will diverge and travel at a different angle on the other side. So if, for example, this is air and this is water or glass, then blue, green, and red will deflect by different angles. Thank you. So the, uh, I think the deflection of blue is stronger than the deflection of green than the deflection of red. The index of refraction is slightly different depending on the color, right? So this ratio is different depending on whether you send red, blue, or green light through the interface between two materials. So the index of refraction depends on the color, on the wavelengths. And this is called dispersion. And this is a very nice phenomenon. It's responsible for rainbows. <coughs> so let me show you what happens. If you just take a prism and send white light through that prism, the light will split at this interface first. The red and blue will both obey Snell's law, but with different number n, with different index of refraction. And then each of them will also bend differently at exiting the glass prism. So on the other side, you have this rainbow. And this is precisely what we had on Wednesday. On Wednesday, I wanted to illustrate to you that white light contained all sorts of colors, and this is what I did. I put um, a prism in the way of white light, and I showed you a, a rainbow on the screen. Now, how does the real rainbow work? Sunlight can reflect and uh, refract inside the tiny droplets of water in the air. So if you have uh, raindrops or clouds with very large droplets of water, the following thing can occur. Sunlight, which contains all sorts of colors, comes in, and at the first interface, the colors split and travel along different paths. And then at the second interface, they also go along non-parallel trajectories, right? So these rays are now split, and they go out at different angles. There, there is a certain angle for which this effect is most amplified, just because, uh, uh, you know, if you, if you just scan this point on the, on the surface of the sphere, you'll find that there are just more rays coming out at 42 degrees. And so you get this interesting phenomenon that sunlight gets split and more intensely so when it is at this one angle. Now, why do you observe a bow of that rainbow? Well, first, you observe it from a distance. 
and you're looking at a bunch of different raindrops or water drops in the cloud. And each of them sends a rainbow at the angle of 40 to 42 degrees. Now, just think about the following. If you are looking at the so the, the cloud the, the, the raindrops or water drops are there, the sun is behind you. What is the location of all the points which you observe at the same angle? So the angle to the drop of water back to the sun has to be 40 degrees. So it's there and there and there and there and there, and that's why it's a bow. That's why it's a nice uh, round surface. So this is the reason you see this rainbow. So these are all the points that are selected by the requirement that the angle uh, between the direction to the sun and the direction to you is the same and is equal to 40, 42 degrees. Now sometimes you can see two rainbows at once. One is brighter than the other and one is bigger than the other and the colors are inverted. So the reason for that is this. In addition to a full, so here's refraction, then full internal reflection, and then refraction again, right? But if the sunlight comes in at a different angle, it can do the reflection twice inside this drop and come out at a different angle. This one is about 53 degrees, I believe. So then you will see two different rainbows, one from a single reflection inside the drop and one from a double reflection inside the drop. And the colors will be inverted because you see here, if you do one more reflection, you flip the order of colors so that instead of red on the bottom and, and blue on the top, you get blue on the bottom and red on the top. Because every time you go through another reflection, you lose some light. And because those surfaces are not perfect reflectors. And so the second rainbow is usually fainter than the primary rainbow. And it's a little bigger. How many of you have seen two rainbows? Everybody. Almost. All right. So the rest of you, keep, keep, uh, keep your eyes out. Of course, Los Angeles... It's not the place, it's not the good place for rainbows. 